Hi. Hi, Mark. Hi. How goes? This is the last cable to make for the installation. I have bundles of wires. These interconnect all our robots on each pallet. There's three of these per pallet. And I have bundles. I made these by hand. Hi, it's Sarah. Uh, it's Monday and I'm still wearing the same shirt. Yes, I've been wearing it all weekend. Um, we got a lot done though. So Mark and I are, um, we, well, we finished putting together the plastic bases. So those are in the back room stacked up against the wall and there's 12 of them now and they're waiting to be loaded with uh, Delta robots. But before we can load them with Delta robots, we have to finish building them which is something that Mark and I did uh, over the past three days. And we also have to get all the networking stuff uh, worked out, like the cables and everything. So Mark is going to show us all of the uh, umbilical cords and like, I don't know, connective tissue that he just built. So, hi. Hi, Mark. What you got there? This is all the stuff we built this weekend and this is the central nervous system for the art installation. So we have 84 robots that need to be connected together over a network. So this is the network right here. So we made custom boards and cabling to hook everything together. And the way this works is I have these boards right here. Each pallet has one of these and it's Cat5. And we're running a differential serial DMX signal that connects all the pallets up. So once it's on a pallet, these cables daisy chain each of these other boards, which run two robots each. So these daisy chain together end to end. And then these splay out to two more cables. And so these are mounted near the robots, these boards here. And then each one of these goes to an individual robot brain board. Right, so we have a serial connector that's on the board and it connects in and that's pretty much how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven robots. Yeah. So these all hook up to individual robots yep. and this goes from pallet to pallet. Yep. Awesome. So we're not ready to put the robots in the actual pallets yet because we need to give them each uh, a brain to um, interconnect and that involves more soldering. So all of the soldering that we did for the Kickstarter we have to do even more um, by hand because we, we didn't have the soldering done someplace else by other Minion people. Um, we decided to do it ourselves which is awesome but horrible at the same time. Right Mark? Yes. <laughs> so. I'm in here at the soldering station making baby brains. These are the hex brains. And we have to make another 60 of these, so I've got like 10 done so far and then a whole bunch more left to go. And then last night we finished while watching PBS <laughs> building the rest of the robot bases. And they're not done. They don't have like the, the 3D printed parts or anything on them yet. It's just the motors on the acrylic base for now, but that's the hard part. So um, our fingers are like really hurting, but we have all of that done. And this is another, I think 50 or so. And the next step after this will be to connect the paddles and install the brains that I'm soldering right now.